Hi, I'm Terry. My name's Ashley. Hi, I'm Kevin Ewan. Hi, my name's Jason Branch. Hey, I'm Nick Hang. My name's Amit. Uh, my name is Joel. I teach uh, entrepreneurship and I run businesses. I'm in my final year at the B School of Business. When I get anything less than an A+, I go home and cry a little bit. I was one of the co-captains for the 2013 SFU JECOS team. Now that I'm graduated, in my spare time, I like to make gang signs for my initials. I was the other half of the 2013 SFU JECOS captaincy. A lot of girls say I have really pretty dimples, but I just think that's how I am. I was on the original SFU JDC West team. Uh, I coached uh, the team the year that they won School of the Year. I competed in 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, and now I'm going for 2014. I've been involved with JDC for, I guess, this is my third year. Uh, so I was the godparent uh, one year, and last year I competed on business strategy. I'm nodding because that's what you should do when you're, you know, watching your teammates present. Um, I'm Nick. I've been on JC the past few years. I was on athletics for two years, and this past year I compete on business strategy. Yeah, and I'm smiling because it's important to have a soft <laughs> face when presenting. I'm Kevin, and I've, this is my fourth year of being involved in JDC. I've always been an academic competitor, so in my first year I competed in the finance team. In the past two years, I've competed in the business strategy team, uh, and now I'm a coach. I have been a part of JDC West for three years, two-time competitor, and then this past year as a captain. I uh, participated on the, or competed on the HR team in 2012, and then I captained last year. It's hands down the most work you'll ever do for any other case competition. There's just high expectations. Um, I know the year before we didn't do very well academically, so there's a lot of pressure, uh, you know, to come back and to do well. We honestly did not know what, what the hell we were getting ourselves into. We were just really excited about captaining and just making a change. Academic team, I would say at least 120 hours, but really like you should be thinking about JC West at all times or like as a team you should be thinking about JC at all times. And and like honestly like I've had dreams about JDC thinking about that and just in terms of just the number of, of cases that you have to do, it's 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 relentless and you gotta you just have to keep working at it. Uh, we were coming out of a year where we didn't perform to you know, what was expected of us. And uh, I think we just both really wanted to come back because we knew we had what it took. Aside from getting the, the quantity of cases in, there's also the quality of cases. So many times, pretty much all of our practice, we would spend a lot of time either before or after to really dissect and talk about the cases. And we often met up once a week outside of our weekly practice to really discuss and think of things that we can do to improve on, to work on slides and other things. It's hard to put a number on how much you, where you work for it. It was, it was surreal. I mean, it's, it's like nothing else. I mean, for someone like me who's been through it through multiple years and uh, being on the side where you don't win uh, and then finally getting to win, it's, it's, it's just something different. When first place got announced, it was really it was just a really surreal moment, and I know it didn't sink in for me that we won. For weeks after, I remember mm -hmm. texting me on like a daily basis being like, did we seriously just do that? It's this overwhelming emotion that comes with winning. It's so exciting, and I just cry like a bitch every year. <laughs> <laughs> I think I went from absolute crying hysterics to like rolling around on the floor screaming and shouting for my team it's true there are there are a lot a lot of crying moments uh, yeah. that you wouldn't think i mean i surely didn't think i would ever cry it okay, you honestly can't explain it it's you, you can't even remember how it felt you know what i mean it's just it's just an insane feeling you get there it's just completely different uh and you go you go nuts wild on it so no it's it's like nothing else <laughs>to be successful at the academics is you have to work hard consistently for the next six months. Be open to working on your weaknesses. You know, take criticism well and, and use it to make yourself a better person. When you're doing a case, everything that's in the case, just leave it in the room. You know, there's going to be heated arguments here and there, but that's just the process of actually doing the case. You're putting in the time and effort, and it's really important that you guys do that because at the end of the day, like sure, if, if you go in with the mentality like, yeah, I'm just going in it for a learning experience, this and that, but it's, this is unlike any other co case competition. You can be naturally talented only so far. Uh, a lot of it is the team dynamic. 
it's really important for everybody and every single team to really get to know one another. Yeah. Uh, a piece of advice I always give somebody when they're giving a, a case competition is, I ask them, who's the smartest person in the room? And uh, people really don't know how to answer that, like the judges, I don't, I don't know. My answer to that is, really as a case competitor, it's whoever's talking. So you want to be very supportive of your teammates. The judges can sense a team that is together, and if a team is divided, you're not going to win. You always want to keep on that strong face, you know, those subtle nods that are getting everybody else in the room nodding. Uh, you never want to do the, oh my god, I can't believe he said that, or I can't believe that she talked about that, we said that we weren't going to do that, or oh, you totally screwed up, right? It needs to be a completely 100% supportive environment. Six month journey is you're going to find a hundred different reasons why your team shouldn't win or can't win. And, and the trick is you have to ignore all those reasons and just find a way to win. Literally is like providing me with a skill set that I still use today. You know, when I go and meet an entrepreneur and we're trying to raise a million bucks, I'm using case competition skills, right? If somebody comes with me with a business that needs to be turned around, I'm using case competition skills. When I was working at a private equity firm, they were like, oh, we don't know how we're gonna grow. I used my case competition skills, right? I never went and went, oh yeah, what did they say in the marketing class I took? And I never went back to those classes. I always went back to the case competition. So you take this stuff seriously, you know, you're building a foundation for yourself that it's gonna be good for you for the rest of your life. So I, th I think it's imperative to get t-shirts made. I concur. Me three. Nobody's ever done the JEC West. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really encourage you to take it seriously and, and do the best you can. See you in Regina. <laughs> <laughs>